How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be talking about soft shackles. What are they and why you need Now my Jeep right now currently has uh, your standard bow shackles. It has the rubber piece on it to eliminate the sound when it's smacking the bumpers when you're off road or on road when you're hitting potholes. And these things do have their place. Don't get me wrong. Um, I still carry these. There's still some on my bumper. Um, and I'm I've been using them ever since I got into off-roading and you know these things are pretty cheap you can pick these things up for 10 bucks um, these ones are pretty nice they're powder coated and they last pretty well in the elements you can see where I've used it a lot with pliers um, and all that good stuff but uh, these do come out you know these are relatively inexpensive now when we get to something like this factor 55 has a soft shackle and there's tons of other people out there on Amazon and so on and so on and they, they all have different price uh, prices on them just depends how they're built where they're made and all that um, factor 55 this is supposed to compete with it this is actually a Harbor Freight one and the reason why I like this one so much is it has the coating on it for the UV protection and the sheath that is on it is actually made around the rope and that makes it nice so it don't rip and tear your rope and all that good stuff as you can see it is a badlands soft shackle and uh, i've been messing around with this just pulling stuff around the yard and i'm actually starting to really enjoy this soft shackle um these are only 34 dollars, so they're not that bad there is pros and cons between both of these but they both have their place so just don't get rid of this one just to carry this one Make sure you carry both because you never know when you might need them. First off, we have the bow shackle. And uh, one of the cons is a lot of people put these on their bumper, which I have one on each corner and I have some inside the Jeep. But a lot of people put this on their Jeep and they'll actually rust. Um, another con is these are heavy. They bang around. Um, and if they would break, they would fly at you and probably kill you if they hit you hard enough. Um, but I always buy stuff that is way above rated for what I own, like my Jeep Wrangler or my Cherokee. This is this is made for, you know, pulling big trucks and it'll pull a Jeep just fine. So I'm very confident in this. That it's not going to break. Another thing, if you're handing this to your buddy, he slips, goes into a, a creek crossing water. You'll never find this thing again unless you're digging around in the mud. Um, that is another con. And like, don't get me wrong. They do have their place. Um but the way stuff is evolving nowadays, these are slowly getting faded out. Um, when it comes to a soft shackle, what I like about it, um, there isn't no screwing around. You don't have to get in your Jeep, get a pair of pliers, pop this thing loose, uh, hit on it a little bit, and then sit here and unscrew it. Um, or it may be rusted and you can't get it. What I like about a soft shackle is you just pull it back like this. Straighten this out. And you can go around whatever you're going around just pull it back and this will tighten up and it will not come off and as you see it has the little sleeve on it that keeps it from tearing the rope and i like that so super fast you don't have to worry about rust you don't need a pair of pliers you don't need no fancy tools. Another good thing about this soft shackle is if I toss it to a buddy, um, it hits the water, it will float. This won't sink. Um, so that's another pro with this. Like I said, there's pros and cons with both of them. This one you can't really leave outside. Um, they're okay to get wet in the mud and tug around and everything, but if you leave it set in the sun, it will actually rot the rope, tear the rope up. Um, this one supposedly has like UV stuff on it, but it'll last for a little bit if you leave it out. But I actually put my kinetic rope and my soft shackles in a bag back there uh, with all my gear and zip it up so that stuff don't see the sunlight because it's important to take care of your soft shackles and your, your kinetic ropes because they get dirt in them, the sun hits them, and it slowly breaks it down over time. But... I was against soft shackles for a while and I started using it and honestly they both do have their place and honestly if somebody had a, a bow shackle on their Jeep 
and you're rigging up to them, instead of taking their bow shackle off, like I just showed you, you can take it off, just wrap it around their bow shackle and you're ready to pull or whatever you're gonna do. Now, another con with this one is you can't just go through your bumper loop. Um, there's nobody out there that's really designed anything yet for that, but I'm sure they're in the making somewhere. Um, if you put this in the bumper loop where your bow shackle goes um, and you actually pull against it, even though this has the sleeve on it, you could probably get a couple pulls out of it, out of it before it started ripping the sleeve. But if you put this in the hole and then try to pull with it, eventually it's going to actually tear the soft shackle. So this is the corner of my bumper. This is my bow shackle. And as you can see, it's been on here for a little bit. It's got a little rust and I can't, I can't get it off. So got to go ahead and take a pair of pliers, break it loose, and then it comes off. As you see, this bumper has, it doesn't feel sharp, but when you put tension on this, it'll actually eat this rope. And you can squeeze this rope in there and get it around there, and eventually it'll eat through this. So this is where this comes into play. So say we're getting ready to pull somebody, you wanna go ahead and turn this back a little bit and leave it loose. Got our kinetic rope. So instead of undoing this and messing around, we can go ahead, put the soft shackle around here. Put this on there like that. And you have a nice and secure connection with a soft shackle. Same way with marrying two straps together. A lot of times our strap isn't long enough and we have to put them together. Well, a lot of times we'll actually just run it like this and we hook it to another strap. And what happens is this usually tightens up so tight with the other strap, it's really hard to get off. So what you can do, instead of screwing around with that, messing around with trying to do all this, you can do it very quickly by just taking a soft shackle and putting it in between it, just like that. And you may have two straps and it's longer and you have a soft shackle in the middle. So if something would happen between that, this would just break off, rip or fly off and it wouldn't hurt you. Um, so there's a lot of uses for a soft shackle. Um, one thing I don't recommend is using a bow shackle like you would a soft shackle. Like if I'm hooking two lines together to make the line longer, if I have two of them, I would not use this in the middle because this could break off, the rope could break, um, the kinetic rope could break, and this could fly through your windshield. Um, there's a lot of tension when you have two kinetic ropes hooked together like this. And that's why I use a soft shackle because if it breaks, this falls and hits the ground, nothing's going through your windshield and it's all good. You can even do it with straps. Uh, you can use a, you know, a soft shackle with two straps, put it in between, and it makes your strap longer. That way you're not messing up your straps and you're not marrying them together and they're hard to get off. Uh, because uh, this past year I pulled out a car and I just used the straps and what happened, it tightened so tight, I had to actually put hot water on it and unmarry them. But uh, I'm actually starting to like soft shackles, believe it or not, and there's a place for them in everybody's recovery bag. So I believe you need to go to Harbor Freight and pick you up at least two of these um, and have them in your Jeep. Because when you're in a recovery situation, the last thing you wanna do is be out there messing around, stomping in mud, stomping in the water, playing in the creek. And that's mostly what you do when you're trying to put a bow shackle on. You know, hey, give me the pliers, they're in the glove box, they're in my tool bag. You don't need pliers. Uh, a lot of people already have these on their Jeep bumper like I do. So I don't even need to mess with those. I just use a soft shackle, slip around there like I showed you, and uh, it's basically it. And if you keep these in a bag, like I do my kinetic ropes, so the sun don't hit it, these should last you a very long time. Harbor Freight impressed me on this. Believe it or not, Harbor Freight is actually growing their recovery, their light section, their wind section, their overlanding stuff. They have a big section out. Well, in West Virginia they do. And I was really impressed to see something like this. I'm very excited to see what else they have coming out. So I just wanted to make a little video on the soft shackles that Harbor Freight are selling. They're comparable to Factor 55 and 
I've been playing around with them. If you guys been wondering about soft shackles, um, and if you were like me, like, oh, I'll stay with the old bow, bow shackles, old reliable, honestly, I would pick up at least two of them. It'll make your life a lot easier and a lot faster. Uh, when it comes to recovering a uh, vehicle, you know, we're out there, we're trying to get it recovered, get it out of the mud or whatever it's stuck on. And honestly, I hate to say it, <laughs> The soft shackle is a lot faster and a lot easier to work with. And if you drop it, it's not going to smash your toe. It's not going to smash your finger. They float in the water. They're not heavy. Um, you can put them in your recovery bag and uh, you're not carrying a bunch of bow shackles around and making your bag heavy and all that good stuff. There's a lot of benefits out of both of them. And there's a lot of cons out of both of them. It's just one of those things where you should carry both of them. You should have at least two or three bow shackles and two or three soft shackles. Um, so yeah, that's just my opinion of them. Um, I'm really impressed with Harbor Freight because you know we, I swear I buy most of my tools to work on all my Jeeps with, and to see that they're getting into the stuff like that really makes me happy because you don't have to order it now offline and wait for it. Um, if something would happen uh, and you're out wheeling and you need another strap, you can go to Harbor Freight. There's a Harbor Freight everywhere and go get you a strap real quick or a, a tree hugger or anything like that. So. Go check them out. Buy you one. Let me know if you have soft shackles and how you like them um, and how you like bow shackles or what you dislike about both of them. Leave them in the comments below. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.